Hey Disney Pixar Cars Collectors, here are some recent finds for October of 2013. Now this is a pretty exciting find, very mixed at that at the same time. It's a Q case mixed with a Kmart K-Day case. Don't ask me how, but I got this two weeks early before it should have been released. Now the first car up, and I'll explain as I go along. The first car up that we have here is RPM number 64. This is from the Disney Cars movie, the first movie. You'll see him in the beginning as they're racing before the three-way tie. Now, this particular car is from the Q case. I'll give you a closer look so you can see what he looks like. 64 on the side. Yeah, I think he's pretty cool looking. I like that yellow color with blue. He has very nice decals on him. You see 64 and RPM on the front. He looks really beefy, <laughs> if, you, if I were to say. And he's number 17 of 18 from the Piston Cub collection. I'll show you the back so you can see some of the other cars. All of these cars have already been released, obviously, since RPM number 64 is from the last case of the year before the new case comes out. Again, this is RPM number 64. Now, next up are Q case cars that were mixed in with the Kmart K-Day cars. The following cars are available in both cases or will be for future and for past tense have been already if, you were, if you're looking at this video in the future. So this is Mildred Bylane. I found her for the Q case but I also saw her in the Kmart t earlier today on the pegs. So I'm, I'm mixed in with the uh, Kmart K case. Here are the other cars in that series. You'll see the last one there, Mildred Bylane, the bottom right. Pretty heavy car. And this is number 8 of 8 from the Radiator Springs uh, collection. Now, if you were to hold this car in your hand, you'll feel that it's a lot heavier than most. Very basic, no real decorations. Just, I guess, another car from the story. I don't know where she appears. I think I've seen her in Flo's... Uh, diner. Now you'll see also that there's a plastic mirror there on the side. Very nice. Next up is Luigi and Guido with shaker and glasses. This is also from the Q case and is also available in the Kmart K-Day case. So now I happened to find it before I got to the Kmart K-Day case but uh, it's already available either way. You'll, you'll be able to get it on October 19th during K-Day. Now this is a re-release. The only thing that they're adding is uh, they're changing a few of the decals there. Uh, Luigi's eyes are looking up at the glasses as you can see there. And you'll see Guido, he has a shaker in his hand or his two uh, pylons or whatever you call his hands. And then he come, they come with three shot, uh, I guess, martini glasses. I don't know what that is. But there you go, that's what that is. This is number 9 of 10 and number 11. Actually, 9 and 10 of 11. So it's like a two-part release from the Wheel Wheel Motel. And here are the other cars in that series. Again, Luigi and Guido with shaker and glasses. Now these last three... Two of them are exclusive to K-Day, and you pretty much already know if you're looking at them. Uh, let me show you the Chase. The Chase is Ruka. She is number 7 of 7, and maybe the last Chase of the year, if not for Ichigo, but one of the last. She is available in the Q-Case along with Ichigo, and is also available on K-Day. As you can see there, it says she's a Chase number seven of seven from the airport adventure now if you look at her closely she has some nice intricate designs on her doors nice stewardess cap or flight attendant I, I think she's at the desk at the airport in the uh, Cars 2 movie and her name is Ruka here are some of the other cars in that series Again, this is Ruka 
Find her in the K Q case and KMRK day. And the last two here, pretty cool. It's about time they changed some of the colors for uh, Kmart cars. Well, not really much for Lightning McQueen, but more for Rip Clutch Gonski. He is in a gold metallic coloring instead of silver, which I think this version looks a lot better. I, I, I would prefer Rip with a goldish metallic coloring rather than a silver. I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't think it would match. Just my opinion, but with the coloring that he has. Pretty much the same Rip Clutch Gonski that you've always been seeing. The only thing is that the paint has the yellow paint that would be yellow is now a goldish metallic. And you'll see there it says Rip Clutch Gonski with metallic finish and metallic deco on the box. And the normal Rip Clutch Gonski would normally have something here that says World Grand Prix Series. But since this is a Kmart K Day only release, he has no series number here and on the back he is a standalone uh, look uh, actually standalone uh, decoration there on the back and that's it this is Rip Clutch Gonski with metallic finish and last but not least Lightning McQueen with metallic finish. Same thing. This is uh, an original Dynaco Rusty's, uh, not Dynaco, I'm sorry, uh, from the uh, Piston Cup series. I don't know why the picture in the back says World Grand Prix. I guess that's just something that they always put. But this is from the first movie when he had the Rusty's logos. And he has nice metallic finish and silver. Now the World Grand Prix edition was previously released in another K Day, I believe back in November of 2012. And again, he's a stand he has a standalone picture on the back. He is not part of any series. So this is a nice uh, special edition to have from a K Day. And that's Lightning McQueen with metallic finish. Here are two Lightning McQueens side by side, one from a November 2012 K-Day release and then another which is the one that we mentioned earlier from the October 2013 release. The only difference is one is Piston Cup and the other is Rusty's. One has a World Grand Prix spoiler that you can see here, that's the red spoiler and the other one has the Rusty's from the Piston Cup in the first movie spoiler so that's what that is they both have different reels both have light year tires pretty much the same with some different decals or decos but the only uh, exclusivity of them are that they are both colored with a metallic finish and they are both metallic silver of course here are two Rip Klitschkonski side by side the original Rip Clutch Gonski on the left, which is this one here, and then the metallic deco version right over here. Both are the same exact castings, no difference. The only difference is the paint. One is metallic, one is yellow. I'll give you a closer look at both so you can understand what I mean. Here you'll also notice before I do that, one has World Grand Prix, one only says metallic deco on the case package. Here they are side by side. You'll see they both have the same deco decorations on all over the uh, body. Same rear spoiler. Green paint is in the same place. Red paint is in the same place. Front lights are the same place. Smiles are the same. Eyes are the same. If you're into completing your collection, then the metallic finish version is, is, is a must have will be available on K Day of October 19th 2013 and that's it as a final note I was not able to include Ichigo in this video 
which was the other chase available in the Q case besides Ruka. And reason being that she was not available the day that I picked up some of the Q case cars. Somebody got to her before me at the pegs at uh, my local store. But I'll be able to get her soon enough. So these, this video was made in order to reference the October 2013 releases for Disney cars. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Please be on the lookout for any new videos. I'll be posting some soon. And see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.